getting multiple piercings at one time. Coming up next on Pros and Cons by Piercer, episode number 57. So you should stick around. For those who are new to the channel, my name is Dave O. I'm a professional body piercer and have been since 1994. I'm the owner and operator of the Axiom Body Piercing Studio located here in Des Moines, Iowa, inside Skin Kitchen Tattoo. So when I talk to you about these things, I'm talking to you as an expert, as a professional, as somebody who has done multiple piercings on multiple people, uh, thousands upon thousands over the years, and helped them through the healing process. Today's topic came from one of our subscribers. I would like to first off thank you for offering this as a topic um, and also to all the other people that have suggested topics. It's kept things going and rolling and if you have a topic that you would like me to, to go over with this or the Body Piercing Basics videos, please leave a comment. Happy to do that. So, you're thinking about getting multiple piercings. Now, what are multiple piercings? Uh, multiple piercings would be a situation where, like, you're getting both your earlobes done or both your nipples done, or maybe you're getting three or four uh, different non-lobe piercings on your ears or multiple eyebrows or multiple uh, nostril piercings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you five of each, five pros, five cons, five advantages, five disadvantages. Starting with the positives, the, the pros, the advantages. First one being is that you only have to go through that healing um, and piercing process one time. Uh, you're not going to have to come back to the studio months later to get a second one done. Often, if you're doing piercings in the same area, uh, you have to wait for that swelling to go down at least before you get a second piercing. Um, if you're doing multiple oral piercings, swelling can be a big factor where if wait time, you may have to uh, put the old jewelry back in to allow for that swelling in the area. So it's, it's in a way, it's easier to just to get everything done at once and only go through the process one time. Most studios, including myself, will offer a discount if we're doing multiple piercings in one setting. It really depends on the piercing. Some piercings, it's a little bit more difficult, so that price break isn't going to be there. Um, other piercings, yes, there's a definite like 10 or 5 to $10 discount because we don't have to set up all the materials again. Uh, we can use some of the same items, so it's a little cheaper for us to do that setup than it would be if you came in on two separate occasions. Now, this isn't always the case, especially if you're doing like an ear piercing and then a nipple piercing and a navel piercing. All of those have slightly different setups and can is going to cost the piercer the same amount of money regardless of the fact that you're doing them all at once. But a lot of places will offer that even uh, in those situations, uh, basically because it's good for business. It's giving you a break. Um, uh, and we like to do that when we can because you're a loyal customer. Number three, only one area needs to be isolated. Only one area that you have to deal with keeping things away from. Now, this isn't always the case, but let's say, for example, you're doing a lot of ear work. It's much easier to have one ear that you're not sleeping on, that you're not having contact with clothing, bedding, et cetera, that you can isolate and keep away from everything. Now, with other piercings like two lobe piercings and et cetera, that isn't the case. Um, and that'll go into the, uh, the, the cons, the disadvantage part when we get to that. Number four, easy to get the placement correct, especially with matching piercings or piercings that are supposed to align or at least visually look like they match from one to another. It's much easier in some cases to do that at the same time. This is especially true with like nipple piercings. Uh, if you can get that placement, uh, usually where it's going to look more like it matches, then it would be to heal out one nipple, come back six months later, do the second nipple when that nipple tissue is changed and adapted to having the jewelry in there. Number five, you don't have to deal with having that issue of an unfinished product, that kind of weird feeling that something's missing. Uh, this is pretty common with like nipple piercings. I keep bringing them up, 
But we're, you know, you get out of the shower, you're getting ready, you're toweling off, and you catch uh, a glimpse of yourself in the mirror or what have you, and it just seems uneven or unsymmetrical, and it, it can bother some people. Uh, you're not going to have that issue if you get them both done at the same time. Same thing with earlobes um, in other piercings. Uh, you just have to, you know, if you're doing a large project on an ear or you do multiple piercings on each ear, uh, sometimes it's nice to just have one ear done, healed and, and over with, then move on to the next one. So that brings us on to the cons and disadvantages. Number one, pain tends to increase the more piercings you do. Uh, this is something that is not always the case. Everybody reacts to piercings differently. Everyone experiences piercings differently. However, with most people, if you ask them, how was the first one compared to the second one, they'll usually say the second one was a little bit more uncomfortable. The theory behind this is when you initially get that piercing, your body puts out signs that trauma is happening and you should do something about it. But as that repeats, your body increases that sensation and that alarm to let you know, hey, yeah, you did it once, now you're doing it twice. You really probably should pay attention to this and stop doing it. Now, let's get, we kind of touched on this a little bit earlier, but number two is different sides or having both sides of your head for example, healing out piercings. It makes sleeping difficult. It makes answering the phone difficult. It makes uh, doing your job, if it involves any type of headphones or over the ear things or hats or et cetera, uh, to have both sides that you have to constantly deal with. Basically, you're sleeping like this on your back to avoid contact. So it can be a real, real struggle to heal out both sides of your face. Nipples, not so much so as long as you're not a stomach sleeper, though usually one will heal a little faster than the other one. Other piercings, yeah, if you're doing one side, you know, two sides, usually you're going to have issues. Like if you did two eyebrows or two nostrils, it will affect sleep and et cetera. Number three, swelling can affect placement. Even if you're doing all the piercings, bang, 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 your body will react almost immediately with inflammation. It does this in part to fight off uh, infection and to stop blood, blood flow or bleeding out. It'll, the whole area will become inflamed. Uh, now, uh, with piercings, especially if you're doing them in one small area, they can be impacted as far as placement, angle, et cetera, if you do multiple multiple piercings right after one one after another, um, this will be really common with things like genital piercings, where the first two are perfectly straight, and you get to that third one, and it seems a little off this way or that way. That could have been affected by the swelling. The other issue is upper ear cartilage can sometimes do that. Uh, forward helixes, anywhere where you're going to probably see a lot of swelling. If you're doing those piercings one after another, it can affect how that piercing gets placed just based on the amount of swelling you see immediately after the piercing is done. Number four, and this is a big one and it's a common question. How many piercings should I have healing at one time? Here's the deal with that. Uh, anytime you get an additional wound on your body, you are basically impacting your body's ability to fight off infection and also to heal. You have a limited amount of resources. There's just so much your body can handle before it has to kind of, well, I'll take care of this until I run out of that product and I'll take care of this till I run out of that product. So having multiple healing piercings is going to be a drain on your immune system and it's going to slow down your healing period. Usually most people will say three to four is kind of the max uh, to have for multiple piercings for this reason, just basically because it's kind of like uh, death by a thousand cuts. If you have 15 piercings healing on your body, and especially if they're in one area, none of them are going to heal correctly. Uh, all of them are going to be more prone to infection. So kind of pace yourself. And this is part of the learning process of getting a piercing. You really learn how well your body heals and how your body handles piercings, its tolerance for it, etc. So take it slow in some cases. Do a couple piercings. If that works out fine, maybe do a third one. But pacing yourself is important when doing multiple pro ear product or multiple piercing projects. Number five, you may be on a budget 
so it's better on the budget to do them over a long period of time. Instead of getting everything done at once and paying a large sum up front, paying a little bit at a time for some people works better into their budget. Uh, if you're going to get uh, multiple piercings at one time, of course, you're going to have to pay for all of them at one time. There isn't any installment plan uh, that I'm going to be able to give you. Uh, maybe, you know, you know, buy on buy on credit or on the cuff. Most piercers, I, well, all piercings, our piercers are going to ask for payment in full. So unlike doing them in multiple stages, the disadvantage is you basically have to come up with that lump sum at one time. So uh, there we go. There's five advantages and five disadvantages, five pros, five cons of getting multiple piercings done at once. I hope you learned something. Thank you for watching, of course. If you have learned something, give us a thumbs up. Let us know that you liked it. We like it when you like it. If you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscription and click on the notification bell so that you're notified every time we post one of these videos. Right now, we're averaging about three to four new videos a week all with a focus on education for body piercing and tattooing. If you feel like I missed something or you have something to add to the conversation or some additional things, feel free to leave a comment. I answer them when I have time. I'm usually pretty good about answering all of them. Occasionally some slip through the crack. But if you have a question or problem, feel free to contact me or leave a comment. If you like merch, t-shirts, hats, clothing, leggings, tapestries, decals, and who doesn't, check out our merch store. Various different designs there uh, from all of the artists at the Skin Kitchen and also myself. Uh, link is in the description. Till next time, here's hoping all your piercings heal with ease and without a single issue. And if you're in the Des Moines, Iowa area, I hope to see you for your body piercing needs in the future. Hey, it's really warm outside. Hopefully it's that way where you're at. Thank you for watching. Now that you've watched this, go out and do something outside before it gets cold again. Because you know it's going to happen.